Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Today's video is about how to make a beast team in NBA All Net. And the first thing we're going to be going over today is chemistry. In order to make these cards everything that they're worth, you have to have chemistry on the court at all five positions. So, you guys see here, Kobe Bryant needs Shaquille O'Neal and LeBron James. Now, if you want to keep Kobe Bryant in your lineup, if you have him, you have to get these two cards. There are no ands, ifs, or buts about it. Now, the first thing that we're going to do today is go on ahead and grab Shaquille O'Neal. Now, there is a guaranteed legendary draw five going on. Now, when I did this, I said, you know what? Maybe I can just draw one and do it a few times and maybe I'll get them. But I said, no. Let me go ahead and draw five so I can get this guaranteed legendary. Now, what that means is if I draw five cards and I don't get Shaq, I will at least get a card that I can consume after ranking it up to level five for one of my other players to get higher in rank. So, you guys see here that I'm drawing all epic cards right about now. But when it comes down to that guarantee legendary, guess who's in the lineup? Yes, I'm going to be getting myself a Shaquille O'Neal on the first draw. Let's talk about luck. Oh my goodness, luck is so good to me. But uh, you guys see that I have 1125 uh, amount of luck, but no worries about that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be using Kevin Garnett as my transfer. Now what this means is in order to get Shaquille O'Neal up to where the levels that some of my other players are, I have to transfer over all of his stats, all of his little, you know, trinkets and all of that. Now he won't be receiving his rank, but he will be receiving a certain amount of his level. Now. Kevin Garnett was at a higher level than Shaquille O'Neal, but being at level 50, as soon as you get that card, makes me happy. Now, all this does is make Kevin Garnett go back down to level one, but do you see how high his rank is? I can use Kevin Garnett as a consumable card to get another player up to a higher rank. So, even though I'm, I lost out on the ranks in Shaquille O'Neal, I still get that consumable card to use later on if I wanna get somebody up there. Now, let's talk about Derrick Rose in this point guard position. I'm gonna have to move him out of my lineup and bring in Dwayne Wade. Now, what this means is I'm gonna be transferring Derrick Rose's stats over to Dwayne Wade. Now, I know a lot of people are asking me, well, why wouldn't you want the higher card in your lineup? Why would you go from a 79 overall to a 78 overall? Well, remember, we talked about chemistry in the beginning of the video. Guess who has chemistry with Dwayne Wade? You guys won't believe it. Just guess. Shaquille O'Neal. Check it out, Inferno. You have increased steal success rate with Shaquille O'Neal. And guess what? If you have Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, and Carmelo Anthony in the same lineup, they all get boosted stats. So remember when Kobe Bryant needed LeBron James? Guess what that means? Kobe Bryant gets plus two and two bonus stats, as well as Shaquille O'Neal does for having Dwayne Wade and Kobe Bryant on the court. This makes for somewhat of a perfect team, some would say. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be ranking up a few players like Dwayne Wade and Shaquille O'Neal just to get them to where they need to be, as well as I'm gonna probably consume some cards and everything like that, but this base team that I have right now is probably one of the best teams on court. Now, a couple people would say that this is a great team, don't get me wrong, but it's a hard team to get catalyst cards. And if you guys don't know what catalyst cards are, they're basically cards that you use to consume and catalyze for a plus 10 percentage in stats. Now, if you have some people like CP3 and Blake Griffin on your team as the one in four or the one in five, you can actually get easier catalyst cards because when you're getting pieces to that player from playing legendary matches, they don't cost as much as they would for like a LeBron James or a Shaquille O'Neal or a Kobe Bryant. So a lot of people would say, oh, well, I don't really like that. I'm going to go this way. Or, you know, some people would say, hey, I want to get James Harden and Dwight Howard as my two and my four or my one and five or my one and four. Like it's a lot of different, you know, setups you guys can use. You know, you can use Kobe Bryant at the two. 
Shaq at the five, Dwight Howard at the four, um, and Dwayne Wade at the the one or anything like that. It's uh, or James Harden. It's so many different things you could do. Now the best thing about this is now a lot of people will say, okay, well I want to go with um, Dwayne Wade at the one, James Harden at the two, and Kobe Bryant at the three, and I want to use Dwight Howard at the four and Shaq at the five. You can really do that lineup because Kobe Bryant is able to be moved to the three and James Harden or Dwayne Wade are able to play the one. Now, I will have to say this before I get out of here. The cheesiest card in this game will have to be Darren Williams. Now, this is the thing. Darren Williams has an uh, accurate shot. An accurate shot basically means that he has a higher percentage of making any shot that he puts up. So if you have accurate shot plus marksman and you have like something where you make buzzer beaters or something like that, or when you're down, you get a boost in percentage and stats, Darren Williams can go 25 for 25. Like literally, like he could shoot 12 threes and arrest all field goals and make every single one of them because of his uh, card, his his rating, his ranking, everything. It's, it's insane. But you guys see here that Kevin Durant will be the next card that I give up, and I will be giving him up for LeBron James to make my team complete. Now, this is on a Rose Garden server, and I hope you guys like the video. Peace out, y'all. Yeah.